Boston tonight, the accused Boston bomber, Jokar Tsarnaev, the trial starting with a chilling admission from his own lawyer saying it was him, but then making the case that his older brother's influence made him do it. And at this hour, startling new images of the moment those bombs went off, prosecutors showing the pictures, building a case for the death penalty. And look, inside the sporting goods store, bystanders running from the blast that day. A dramatic and difficult first day in court for so many survivors who were right there in the courtroom. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is also there. With new video made public for the first time today, prosecutors brought back the horror of that festive spring race day in Boston. The first bomb blast near the marathon finish line. And then in the distance, the second, much more powerful blast. The chaos and the carnage in the aftermath caught on tape by a wounded spectator. Get her out of here. Frantic emergency workers try to treat the most seriously injured first. Inside a nearby sports store, stunned and wounded spectators stumble in. The store manager uses running clothes to fix a tourniquet on the leg of a badly injured woman. Others rip clothes off the rack to be used as tourniquets for the wounded still outside. It was a dramatic opening day in the trial, attended by dozens of victims who were wounded or lost limbs in the attack. And in a surprise opening statement, Johar Zanaev's lawyer, Judy Clark, flatly stated it was him, admitting he was responsible for the senseless, horrific, misguided acts. But she pointed to this video of Zarnayev and his older brother Tamalin about to plant their bombs to claim her client was only following the path created by his older brother, later killed in a police shootout, setting the stage for a defense that could help the younger brother avoid the death penalty. Given the, the, the amount of evidence the government has, I would suggest it's the only strategy. And perhaps the most damning video will be shown next week, an extension of this still photo. Zarnayev, his hat on backwards, right after he dropped the bomb in his backpack on the ground, just feet away from the Richard family, whose eight-year-old son Martin died in the blast. Prosecutors told the jury today they will prove that Zarnayev was a committed terrorist in his own right, a soldier in a holy war out to punish America. David. Brian Ross leading us off tonight from Boston. Brian, thank you.